top five vintage neighborhoods in Las Vegas. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. everyone welcome back to my channel I am obviously Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and I thought it would be fun to do a video on the vintage neighborhoods in Las Vegas and we have a lot of them but I wanted to just go over the top five because these ones I really like when I mean vintage vintages homes that were built in the 40s 50s and 60s um, not homes that are built in the 80s or 70s, well, maybe some in the 70s, but they're vintage with the mid-century mod design. Most of them are single-story homes, etc. One of the best-kept secrets of Las Vegas is that the city has several vintage neighborhoods containing the treasure trove of modern-style homes. Most of these houses were built in the 1940s all the way through the 1980s, and they fit into a category, whether they are called ranches, um, ramblers, desert modern, palm springs modern, or simply mid-century modern. Together, these houses define a certain type of architectural style that emphasize open floor plans and ample windows with the goal of opening up interior spaces and bringing the outdoors inside. And the first one is Rancho Bel Air. And this community is a very exclusive guard-gated community located right off of Rancho and a little before Alta Drive, north of Alta Drive. Rancho Bel Air is a vintage yet highly exclusive community featuring large homes and exquisite properties. Centrally located, this established neighborhood includes mature trees and well-landscaped properties. Rancho Bel Air has 122 custom designed homes that date back to the 60s and over the years it has seen its fair share of famous residents and notable celebrities. This neighborhood is diverse in style and architecture with homes ranging from mid-century modern to colonial homes of red brick and white columns to white contemporary homes with ceramic tiles. Rancho Bel Air even includes some Mediterranean style homes built in more recent years. Most of the homes in Rancho Bel Air was constructed from the 1960s to the 1980s with a few homes built more recently. This neighborhood is comprised of gorgeous single and two-story single family homes on a third or more acres that range in size from around 2,300 square feet to just over 10,000 square feet. And Rancho Bel Air is located in the 89107 zip code. So how I did this was I pretty much did them all the vintage neighborhoods that are located in that Rancho area, pretty much between the 15, the 95, Rancho, Oki, Alta, all those neighborhoods are so vintage and so classic Vegas. Number two is Scotch 80s. The name Scotch 80 comes from the fact that in 1911, Las Vegas first mayor, Peter Bowl, bought the 80 acres of land here using funds from Scottish investors. The exclusive 120 acre vintage community of Scotch 80, or Scotch 80s as the locals call it, is located at Charleston Boulevard and Rancho Drive in central Las Vegas. Scotch 80s includes homes built in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, along with some newer homes. The Scotch 80s features luxurious homes built on spacious lots. Many of its properties are ranch estates with several acres of land. However, what makes the Scotch 80s home stand out is that the 50s vibe and the vintage look of the whole neighborhood. The properties in this community feature a mid-century style with a touch of modern design. Ever since it was developed, the Scotch 80s has been a very popular neighborhood due to its location. Scotch 80s real estate can be found in the 89102 zip code. My next vintage neighborhood is McNeil or McNeil Estates. One of the most popular and certainly one of the most charming vintage neighborhoods in Las Vegas is commonly known as McNeil. The boundaries of McNeil are Oakey Boulevard on the south, Charleston Boulevard on the north, Rancho Drive on the east, and Cashman Drive on the west. McNeil, sometimes referred to as McNeil Estates, McNeil Tract, McNeil Manor, McNeil Park, as well as Mason Manor, was developed between 1947 in 1978, with most of the homes built in the 50s and 60s. McNeil is comprised of 513 homes, ranging in size from 1250 square feet 
to 6,500 square feet of living space. Most of the homes in McNeil are custom along with a fewer similar houses by the same builder. Buyers will find ranch style homes and a few mid-century and desert modern style houses. McNeil offers oversized lots ranging from a quarter of an acre to over two acres and mulberry trees, grassy lawns, and white picket fences grace this neighborhood. McNeil Estates real estate can be found in the 89102 zip code. And number four is Glen Heather Estates. Glen Heather Estates is a charming vintage neighborhood featuring mid-century modern homes in the heart of Las Vegas, located on the southeast corner of Rancho and Oki next to McNeil Estates. Glen Heather offers a great selection of homes from different decades and in all price ranges. From ranch style to desert modern, Glen Heather has it all. Massive tree and large lots make this neighborhood very desirable. And Glen Heather Estates real estate can be found in the 89102 zip code. I actually like this neighborhood when I was doing a drive through tour of this neighborhood. This one seemed to have more of the mid-century modern charm than the other neighborhoods. Um, lots of nice, very mid-century modern. It looks like a lot of people have been really redoing that neighborhood. And last but not least is Spanish Oaks. Spanish Oaks is a guard gated community located four miles from the Las Vegas Strip between West Sahara Avenue and West Oki Boulevard and just minutes to downtown. Spanish Oaks features excellent community amenities including a beautiful community center with strip views, six neighborhood pools, tennis courts, petting green, and a pickleball court. There are nearly 400 homes in Spanish Oaks that were built in the mid-1970s with floor plans ranging in size from 1,400 square feet to 4,800 square feet. And um, Spanish Oaks Real Estate is located in the 89102 zip code. As you can see, most of these vintage neighborhoods are really close together. There are a lot more vintage neighborhoods in the Las Vegas Valley. What I've done on my website at Neighborhoods in Las Vegas is created a little um, section where it says vintage neighborhoods on the top of my website. You scroll down where it says neighborhoods and you find vintage neighborhoods. A list of vintage neighborhoods of homes for sale in those neighborhoods. If you want to learn more, I've also created a blog post for this uh, video. You can uh, click down on the link below for that as well. Uh, you know, during a tour of these vintage neighborhoods, I really liked Rancho Bel Air. I couldn't get into Rancho Circle, which is just right next to it. Um, but Rancho Bel Air was very nice. Um, I like the exclusivity of it. And then out of the other vintage neighborhoods, I actually liked, like I mentioned earlier, I liked Glen Heather Estates the best because it seemed like it had the most vintage charm in my opinion. I am a lover of mid-century modern and that was fit the bill for me. Anyway, folks, <laughs> if you're thinking about buying a home here in Las Vegas, you know what to do, right? You can call me at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. Don't forget to make sure to hit that like button. Most definitely subscribe to my channel because I like to talk a lot about neighborhoods in Las Vegas, hence the name for my website, Neighborhoods in Las Vegas. <laughs> And also Summerlin, of course. Um, anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.